What's up, MK Squad? Welcome back to another legendary top of the movie reaction video. If you're new to the channel, come join the family. Hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on. If you're already part of the family, man, we truly appreciate you and thank you. Every single one of you is a blessing and you are amazing. If you haven't told yourself that today or you haven't heard from anybody to tell you where you heard it from, your boy. Also, comment down below any legendary top of the movie reaction videos, blogs, and pranks you guys want to see. Also, give this video a Big thumbs up, man. Help crush that YouTube algorithm. And what I always say is totally free. You know what I'm saying? You can't forget the free. Who don't like free? You feel what I'm saying? Free is free. You know what I'm saying? I like free. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if I was a millionaire. I I like free. You know what I'm saying? Like if it ain't hurt me or hurt anybody else around me and just positive and pure, I take the free. You know what I'm saying? So give this video a big thumbs up, man. So we got Lissy Sotsman. As crazy as I am, season two. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the family member who recommended this video. If you comment down below, I'm going to pin your comment. You know what I'm saying? So anybody who recommended a video, I'm going to pin your comment in the comment section in the video when I see your name. Because it's truly a blessing and I appreciate you taking the time out your day. Not to just watch this, but recommend and help us grow family and elevate. So on that, on that note, family, I'm not going to do no more talking. Let's get straight into the video. Let's go. I'm in therapy three hours a day. When I'm not with a shrink, I'm with a doctor. When I'm not with a doctor, I'm with a healer. You know that feeling inside, like a balloon, constantly filling up, always on the verge of popping? I'm a broken one. I feel like we all get there. I feel like we all just blow up or I feel like a balloon that just filled with so much inhalant, you know, through trials and tribulations, through tests, through challenges that come our way. That, yeah, it's, it's normal for that. You know what I'm saying? But it's your attitude, which is everything. You know what I'm saying? It's more important than facts. Your attitude is more important than facts. Because the way you approach that thing with the, and you, the way you approach that thing and what you figuring out that thing or that situation matters more than anything. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. And brokenness come with purpose. So it sounds like she's trying to seek help, and that's a good thing right now. You know what I'm saying? That's always good. You know, I'm talking to a therapist three hours a day. Okay. I mean, it's better than doing something negative, you know, to harm herself. What did I ever do to make you hate me so much? You're my sister. My best friend. And she spent the last ten years making us feel like we don't matter. And I don't like feeling that way. It's about how you treat Josie. Okay, girl, tell her. Whoa, okay? tell her, tell her. Nope. I am super crazy. Anytime things are going well for me, you haven't. I don't think you're crazy. Everything just to steal the spotlight. I mean, honestly, Lizzie, if I believed every paranoid delusion that came out of your mouth, I'd be just as crazy. Bro, why look like she' about to just bop her in the back of the head, like boobity bop, like, and no, and don't give no f's. She's you. At all. You have to live with some messed up part of me in your brain forever, driving you as crazy as I am. You think I'm broken? I think I'm broken. Because you are a stupid, crazy person who talks to herself. Yeah, I feel like all geniuses talk to themselves. You know what I'm saying? It gives you that realignment or that or that um sense of how can I put it, family? That sense of direction sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Cause you get caught up so in your mind that you think you know what you're doing or you think you think you figuring everything out and you forget something and you're like, what did I just do? What I was just about to do? You know what I'm saying? Because you're so constantly thinking and your mind is constantly going. And sometimes talking to yourself just leaves a sense of direction to remind yourself when you forgot what you was about to do. You feel what I'm saying? I just feel like she's seeking validation a lot from her sister. And comment down below if I'm wrong, family, or let's have a discussion about it. You know what I'm saying? Create a dialogue. And that's just what this is about. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's seeking validation from her sister. Maybe she looks up to her sister. I don't really know, but correct me if I'm wrong, like I say, family. And she loved her sister to death. She's just going about it the wrong way. And she cares a lot. So when you care a lot about someone and you want to fix their problems, you know what I'm saying, and you're attached to their problems, it leads to you try to help fix their problems. And when they're not doing what you say because it's that constant resistance of them Saying, no, I don't want to do it that way. I don't think that way is good. Or whatever you try to give a solution for them to 
to help them fix their problem, they just don't do it. And then it makes you upset because if they just listened to you or did it the way you said it and the way you expected them to do it, then you get angry and it creates that resistance because it's like talking to someone negative. If you talk to, if they say, it's a bad day, and you say, no, it's a good day. Well, you're just adding fuel to the fire and eventually that you saying it's a positive day and I'm saying a negative day, they're not going to comprehend it. It's not going to click in your head. So it's just like a bomb just waiting to explode because they're being, they're negative. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're in their mind and that's how they feel. Instead of you just deflecting like, yeah, you know what? That's right. It is a bad day. Let's seek, inf- let's seek for improvement. So I feel as though that's where they're at right now. I feel like the sister is broken, but I feel like she cares for her sister and overcares. Um, which is the one who say I'm not gonna let you be responsible for my happiness. I feel like that's her position. And the one that's broken, I feel like she just put all her negative energy on her sister who really cares about her that much. But comment down below, family. I might be wrong. That's just how I'm taking it right now with one minute and thirty one seconds into the video. Mental health is the most precious thing that I have. A rash I can deal with, but I cannot risk I had my first occurrence. My mom took me away to get help, and you decided to use it against me. At least now you know why I'm so screwed up. Sebastian was right next to me. I'm really Pray sorry. about it, girl. This was the only way I could think of to get you to see what everyone else is going to see. Sebastian's not real. Shut up. Just shut up. The one I had when our trip got canceled, you told everyone that I was witch bipolar. I can't live like this anymore. It sounds like she's overcoming hurt from someone she's lost and she's not trying to embrace the truth, but instead be in this fantasized mind of hers in a sense of not accepting reality. And I feel like that's her problem and why she's so broken. And she's not at peace because she's letting a reality and what she wanted to be take away the actual fact of what reality is. And she's constantly battling with it because life is going to let you know what it is for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a hero, Dad. Yeah, I feel like you reaching to your level and greatest potential of creativity, you have to express that creativity. And yes, negativity and challenges and people that be jealous and all that is going to come his way if you absorb that energy of their negativity. You know what I'm saying? But instead of you know how to handle it and deflect their negativity on them and not really stay attached to it and absorb it and look at them in their eyes and always embracing their negativity. Then, yeah, you'll know how to defeat it. And that's that's growth. See, it's easier to just talk to someone who's easier to talk to, but there's no growth within that. Rather than you learning how to talk to some people that's difficult to talk to or people that's negative or people that's around you in the workplace, home, wherever. You know what I'm saying? And a big heart. You know what I'm saying? A lot of love and a big heart. There's nothing wrong with it. You just have to set boundaries. I'm guessing you're possessed. Oh, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, family. Spoke a lot of. I feel like what we all go through in a sense, in different ways, and different forms, but we're all synonyms to me as people because we all go through things just in different ways and different forms that's aligned with the purpose that's destined for us. And, um, you know, just always know that you're never going through something alone, even though you think it is. You may be feeling like you're alone in the room and no one's there to support you and you're lost and you're confused. But I say pray. You know what I'm saying? Give it to God and then talk to those who can leave that conversation where it's at when y'all have that conversation? It won't get out, won't get nowhere. And, you know, I just want to let you guys know, family, for you watching this, I'm telling you, eye to eye, I pray for all of you. I pray for all my brothers and sisters throughout the world. I look at y'all like a brother, a sister, family, you know, part of the MK Squad family and bigger than that. So, yeah, family, this spoke volumes. This is about life and what we go through through everyday life because a lot of us is conformed to put on a mask and pretend. And that pretend just leads to, leads to destruction. It actually destroys our blessings. It destroys us. And um, it's dangerous. And you don't have to pretend. We all go through stuff mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially. But it's how you work through those things and learn those lessons that mean the monks of it all. 
Some people is in our life for a lifetime. Some is there for a season. On that point, family, I just want to say I love you. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. Stay positive. Take care of yourself. Health is wealth. Take your vitamins. You know what I'm saying? Take some sea moss. Helps take out that mucus from meat you may eat or whatever, burgers, whatever the case may be. And just take some vitamins. You know what I'm saying? Some vitamin D. You drink some orange vitamin C. You know what I'm saying? So on that point, family, I'm leaving out with a legendary peace.